Welcome to your movement practice. Today we're going to be focused on detoxing the body through internal massage via twisting and a little bit of core activation. And I really invite you to read the description about my method and why I've chosen to break down the movement practice this way. And um, yeah, we'll get started on our backs in Shavasana. Allowing yourself a moment to relax. Legs are as wide as feels comfortable. Shoulder blades a little bit tucked under. Drawing your attention to your breath. Breathing in for four. Holding at the top and exhaling for a count of four. Holding at the bottom. Inhale for four. Hold at the top. Exhale for four. Hold at the bottom. Enjoying three more of these breaths. And then letting go of that vigorous control that you had, but not letting go of the mindfulness as you settle into a more natural breath. Feeling heavy in your limbs. And maybe starting to scan the body. Where are you holding on to tension? Where are you holding on to blocked energy? Maybe you're bloated. Maybe you have cramps. Maybe your stomach just doesn't feel right. Maybe your hips are tight and just taking a note of everything going on on the inside. Allowing the heart rate to really slow down. We flutter the eyes open. We wiggle fingers and toes and circle out the wrists. And bring our knees to stack over our hips, bringing our shins to parallel. And when you're in this position, drawing navel towards the spine when you breathe in, you keep that tension and it forces you to breathe in through the ribs instead of the belly. And when you exhale, same thing, keep that tension on the core, drawing navel to spine, cinch the waist in at the very bottom of the exhale. Continue breathing like that to find the core. Really thinking of drawing that abdominal wall towards the spine. Inhale, exhale, hands find the knees. Now we push back into the hands with the knees and resist it with the hands. Drawing navel to spine, feeling the core fire up. Three more breaths. Navel to spine, don't let the abdomen tent up. One more breath in and exhale, release. This time the arms reach towards the ceiling as well. Inhale, 
Exhale, reach the left fingertips back over the head and reach the right toes forward. Hold here, drawing navel to spine, not letting the abdomen tent up. Inhale, exhale to center. Inhale to switch, right fingertips reach back behind the head, left toes reach forward. Drawing navel to spine. Inhale, exhale, switch. Inhale, lengthen, left fingertips back, right toes forward. Find the core. Inhale, first lengthen. Exhale, come to center. Switch, inhale. Don't let the abdomen tent. Inhale, center, exhale. Switch, inhale, lengthen. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, center. One more time each side. Inhale to extend. Draw navel to spine, engage through the core. Inhale, exhale, center. Inhale, switch. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, center, finding that knee pressure pose again. Shins are parallel to the ceiling as we press hands into knees and knees into hands and we hold. Two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale, release. Grab the knees in towards the chest. Maybe rock side to side a little bit. And then start rocking up and down the spine until you gain enough momentum that you come over the knees and into tabletop. When you're in tabletop, rocking back and forth, mindfully though, not making it just a mindless rock, stretching out the bottoms of the feet at the back and then the wrists at the top. Finding stillness in the center, toes are tucked under if that's accessible. We begin by picking up the tailbone and dropping the belly. Rolling through the spine, shoulder blades come together and down the back, chin flicks up as the chest pulls through the arms. Keeping the upper body exactly as it is, tailbone tucks under, navel to spine, round up, push the shoulder blades apart, tuck the chin. Leaving the upper body as it is, tailbone lifts, belly drops. Chest pulls through the arms, forcing the shoulder blades to come together and down the spine and lift the chin. And just go through three more rounds of that on your own breath. Engaging through the core to really um, segment the spine. Going as slow as you can and really trying to feel those vertebrae move independently of each other. Last time in cat, rounding through the spine. Last time in cow, arching the back. Finding neutral tabletop, tucking the toes under if they weren't already and hovering the knees. Finding the core here, pushing the ground away with the hands. Inhale and exhale, send the hips back and high, straightening the legs, finding your downward facing dog. Feet are hip width apart or greater. Pedaling out the feet. Finding stillness for two breaths. And we're gonna move into a bit of a faster paced flow just to get the heart rate up. Inhale, right foot back and high, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend the knee, draw the knee forward as you come into plank, trying to tap knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged dog, send the foot back and high. Exhale, knee to nose. 
Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Hold. Plant the foot between the hands. Rise up for high lunge. Only here for a second. Inhale to lengthen the fingertips up towards the ceiling. And then palms come to touch and then draw towards heart center. Push the thumbs in towards the chest as you lean forward and pick up the back leg. Warrior three. Right knee can be as bent as you want it to be. Inhale. To lengthen and exhale here. Inhale. Exhale, draw the knee forward with a bent knee. Left thigh is parallel to the ceiling. Push the arms out to a T position, but the palms flexed as if you're pushing two walls away. Point the left toe and try to draw the knee in a little bit higher. Inhale. Exhale, lower the foot. Fingertips reach towards the ceiling. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Deep bend in the knee. Slow roll up the spine to stand. Arms sweep up overhead, inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back, find your plank. Inhale in your plank. Exhale, lower slowly down all the way onto your belly. Keep the toes tucked. Inhale, exhale, push straight back up to plank. Inhale, exhale, downward facing dog. Left foot back and high, three-legged dog. Bend the knee, come forward into your plank, knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Three-legged dog, inhale. Exhale, knee to nose, hold. Plant the foot between the hands, rise up for high lunge. Reaching fingertips up, reaching out of the waist, we're just here for a moment, inhale. Palms come to touch as you exhale, pressing the thumbs into the chest. Inhale. Exhale, lean forward, pick up the back leg, finding your way into warrior three. Left leg is as bent as it needs to be. Inhale. Exhale, come all the way up to stand, bringing the right knee with you. Right thigh is parallel to the ceiling. Push the arms apart into a T-shape. Point the right toes, try to squeeze heel to bum, and try to bring that knee a little bit higher. Finding a little bit of compression in the hip. Inhale, exhale, lower the foot. Inhale, arms sweep overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knee, slow roll, Tadasana, arms overhead at the top. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step, hop, or jump to your chaturanga. <clears throat> Lower all the way down. Inhale, push yourself all the way back up to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg back and high. Same thing, exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, right leg back and high. Exhale, knee to nose. Last time, inhale, back and high. Exhale, knee to nose and hold. Plant the foot, rise up, high lunge. Palms come to touch, inhale. Exhale, draw the hands down, pressing into your chest with the thumbs. Inhale. Exhale, lean forward, pick up the back foot. Front foot is bent to any degree. Core is engaged. Crown of the head reaching forward, inhale. Exhale, draw the left foot forward. Thigh is parallel to the ceiling. Push the arms open to a T, palms flexed. Squeeze left heel to bum and try to drive the knee up a little bit higher. Inhale. Exhale, lower the foot. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step, hop, or jump back into your chaturanga. Inhale here. Exhale, lower all the way down. Inhale, push yourself straight back into plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left foot last time, inhale. Three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. 
Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose, hold. Plant the foot between the hands, rise up for high lunge. Back knee is bent to any degree. Inhale, palms come to touch. Lift out of the waist. Exhale, draw the hands down, pressing thumbs into the chest. Inhale to find length. Exhale to lean forward, pick up the back foot. Warrior three, core is engaged. Inhale. Exhale, draw the right knee forward. Thigh is parallel to the ceiling. Arms push out to a T. Heels suck to bum, toes pointed, trying to drive the right knee up. Inhale, exhale, plant the foot. Inhale, arms reach overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, find your way into chaturanga. Inhale, and exhale, lower all the way down. Inhale, push up to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pedaling out the feet. One more of a quicker flow before we get into our nice twisting. Inhale, right foot back and high, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend the knee, come forward, knee to nose. Two, inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Three, three-legged dog, inhale. Exhale, knee to nose, hold. Plant the foot between the hands, rise up for high lunge. Inhale to find length. And exhale, um, palms come together and draw to heart center. Inhale. Exhale, twist over to the right. When you twist, it's really coming from the obliques. And you're not using your arms here at all because they're stuck to your chest. So you're twisting from the ribs and the legs are hugging together. Your back foot is grounded. Inhale, exhale, wrap the left elbow to the outside of your right thigh. Hands are still at prayer, pushing into each other. Find the core. Look down at your right toe, lean forward and drag or float the left toes to meet the right twisted chair. Inhale. And exhale, we slowly take it back. Left foot reaches to the back of the mat, fighting for your balance for a twisted lunge. Two more, look down, lean forward as you drag or float the left toes up. Inhale. Exhale, send the left toes back. Last time, look down. Drag or float the left toes forward. And exhale, drag the left toes back. Hold here. Inhale to face forward, lift up the body, high lunge. Exhale. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, lean forward, frame the front foot, step back through plank, inhale. Exhale, or halfway down. Inhale, pull the chest through, straighten the arms. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg back and high. Exhale, bend the knee, knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Three-legged dog, inhale. Exhale, knee to nose and hold. Plant the foot between the hands, rise up for high lunge. Inhale to reach the arms up, palms come to touch. Exhale, draw the palms down, pressing the thumb into the sternum. Inhale to find length and exhale to twist to the left. Using the power of the core 
legs are hugging towards each other. Inhale. Exhale, wrap the right elbow to the outside of the right of the left knee. Find the pose, catch your balance. When you're ready, look down to your left toe and float or drag the right toes up to meet your left twisted chair. And then very quietly and with control, send the right toes back. Twisted lunge. Two more, look down, drag or float the right toes forward to meet the left. Exhale, drag or float the right toes back. Last time, inhale, come forward. And exhale, back. Catch your balance. Inhale to untwist, face forward. Exhale. Inhale, arms reach up overhead. Exhale, reach forward, frame the front foot, step back through plank, lower halfway down. Pull the chest to the arms, straighten the arms, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. And one more time, just like that. I hope everybody's feeling warm. Inhale, right foot back and high. Exhale, bend the knee, come forward, knee to nose. Two. Knee to nose. Three. Knee to nose, hold. Plant the foot between the hands, rise up, high lunge. Inhale, palms come to touch. Exhale, drag the hands down, thumbs find the sternum. Inhale for length. Exhale to twist. Find the work in the core. Find the work in the legs. And now try to wrap the left tri uh, elbow to the outside of the right knee. Catch your balance, find the posture. When you're ready, look down, drag the left toes forward with control. Find the pose. When you have it, drag the left toes back. Taking your time, really finding the posture first before moving into the next. And taking your time with the transition as well. Last time. We all meet in a twisted lunge. Now we uncoil the body face forward. Inhale, adding on we lean forward, picking up the back foot, warrior three. Right glute or leg is maybe on fire, core is engaged. Inhale. And exhale, left toe sweep forward, bent knee, parallel to the ceiling with the left thigh, arms push out to a T shape, bending the left toes, sucking the knee up. Finding the shape, finding the hip compression, finding your balance. Inhale, exhale, lower the foot. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step, hop, or jump back to chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Straight into left foot, left leg back and high. Inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Two. Three, I think. I'm touching the mic every time I do this. I'm sorry if I am. Hold here. Plant the foot between the hands. Rise up for your high lunge. Inhale, reach the arms up, palms come together. Exhale, drag the hands down, thumbs find the sternum. Exhale to find length, or inhale to find length, sorry. And exhale to twist. Just with the power of the core, 
I'm losing my mind on this side. Engaging the obliques. Then to inhale, you find length, and then exhale, now you wrap the right elbow to the outside of the left knee or thigh. Find this posture. When you feel strong, lean forward and begin to drag the right toes up. Find the posture, feel strong, and when you do, drag the right toes back. Two more times. Finding the pose every time you land in it before you transition. Last time. We all meet in a twisted high lunge. Now we uncoil the body, inhale. And exhale, lean forward, right toes lift, finding your warrior three, core is engaged, crown of the head reaching forward, toes reaching back. Inhale, exhale with a bent knee, come forward, finding that bent leg, staff pose, arms come out to a T, toes are pointed, driving the knee up towards the ceiling. Inhale. Exhale to lower the leg. Arms overhead, inhale. Exhale, swan dive over the legs, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step, hop, or jump to your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Feet are hip width apart or wider. Take four breaths here. Inhale, right foot back and high. Exhale, knee to nose and hold. Now plant the foot between the hands and rise up for a high lunge. From here, the arms come out to a T but your arms in this sequence are just extensions of the waist. They're not going to be twisting or forcing your shoulders to twist. They're just an extension of the waist. Inhale, exhale through the power of the core, twist to the right hand side, legs hug together. Arms are just there as an extension. Don't force yourself to twist more by twisting your arms. Now lean back, trying to graze the left thigh with the right fingertips. And then cartwheel the arms open, spinning on the back foot for a warrior two. Keep the legs as they are. Now we just rotate the right arm up, left arm down, pivoting on the back foot as we come back into that twist. Making the transition slow. And we'll be moving a few times, really trying to imagine as if you're wringing out your organs. So inhale to lean back as much as you can. And then we exhale and spiral open to a warrior two. Find your legs. Right arm reaches back and sweeps behind you. Left fingertips sweep forward, spiraling on the foot, opening back into that twist. Keeping a low sink to the knees. And then lean back. And then slowly open, warrior two. Left fingertips sweep forward, right fingertips reach back, pivoting on the back foot, twisted lunge, hold. Reach down with the right fingertips, open up the body. A 
Last time to open up and twist. And then look down in front of your right toes, lean forward and plant the left hand about a foot in front of the right foot. Right fingertips reach high, lean forward until maybe you can pick up, pick up the left toes off the ground. Using the core to squeeze your insides as you twist. Legs are still hugging together. Now bend into both of your knees and send your left knee over to the right, to the outside edge of the right hand, uh, foot as you sink your hips down, ready for our half Lord of the Fishes. Inhale to reach the arms up high. And exhale, left elbow is gonna come to the outside of the right thigh. You can either have the elbow here if this is really inaccessible. You can just have your knee in the crook of your inner elbow and twist from there. Finding your edge, but engaging the core always. Reaching up with the crown of the head. And to make this a little bit more intense, we're gonna take the right hand, pick it up, and try to wrap it around so it's either like resting on your low back or into your hip, and I'll show you on this side. Keeping our twist, but making it active. Holding here, breathing, inhale, lifts the crown of your head, and exhale, twists you deeper. Engaging the core. Inhale to untwist your body. Come forward, frame the right foot with both of your hands. Help yourself up to a forward fold. Deep bend in the knees, roll up the spine to stand. Arms come overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step, hop, or jump to your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left toes back and high. Exhale, knee to nose. Hold. Plant the foot between the hands, rise up to a high lunge. Finding the work in the legs. Both legs hugging towards midline. Then arms come to a T. Remember your arms are just extensions of the weight of the torso. Inhale, exhale, twist over to the left. Gaze can come over the left shoulder only if it feels comfortable. And then we lean back left fingertips reach for the right thigh, and then we spiral open to warrior two. Left hand goes up, right hand scoops forward. We twist the body. And then we reach back with the left hand, and we very slowly make our transition to warrior two. Just as slowly we begin to make our transition open and then twisting. Core is engaged, navel to spine, as we lean back and then slowly cartwheel the arms to our warrior two. Two more times. Inhale, we make our transition, cartwheeling the arms, finding our twisted lunge. Find the work in the core. And we exhale, slowly making the transition to our warrior two. 
Again, imagine wringing out the organs right in here. Inhale to transition. And exhale to land in your posture. Then lean back and begin to slowly make your transition to warrior two. Last time, finding your twisted lunge, then leaning the body forward until the right fingertips touch the ground about a foot or more in front of the left foot. Left hand and fingertips are reaching up. Lean forward, picking up the right foot. Core is engaged. Two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale, begin to bend into both of your knees, placing the right knee to the outside edge of the left foot and then sinking the hips down. Half Lord of the Fishes pose. Lift up, arms overhead. And exhale, either grab the left knee into the crook of the elbow, or maybe the arm is to the outside of the left thigh. And wherever you are, you're still finding the same work. The core is engaged. The crown of the head is lifting high. Really thinking about that core compression like we did at the beginning. And then maybe picking up the left fingertips and then reaching them back behind you. Control the breathing. Look forward. Slowly untwist the body, come uh, rolling forward, framing the foot with both of your hands and joining the feet together for a forward fold. Deep bend in the knees, slowly roll up the spine to stand. Arms come overhead. Exhale, lower the arms, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step hop or jump to your chaturanga. Inhale, pull the heart through, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pedaling up the feet. Just one more time doing the, just the two really deep intense twists per side. Inhale, right leg back and high. Exhale, come forward, knee to nose. Plant the foot between the hands. Rise up, high lunge. When exhale, twist over to the right hand side. Feel that same work, drawing navel to spine. Wrapping the left ribs around and trying to touch your right hip crease with the left ribs. Then lean forward, plant the left fingertips, become light on the back toes, and then find lift off. Finding the work in the core. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale, slowly bend into both knees, coming onto your bum and finding your way into half Lord of the Fishes. You can either do the same one that we did before, or we're gonna throw in a fun arm balance. Inhale to lift the arms up overhead and exhale to twist. For the arm balance, your elbow or tricep will have to be to the outside of the right thigh. So we twist first. Five breaths here. Keep the core engaged. Now look off to the right hand side. Stay here if you wanna stay here. If you want the challenge, find that pressure between the left tricep and the right knee. 
plant both of the hands onto the ground, bend into both elbows, and your right hip is gonna be resting on your right elbow. And all you do from here is lift the feet. Three more breaths. Core is engaged. If you're in the arm balance, begin to slowly make your way back into the twist. Everybody looks forward, planting hands to either side of the foot and coming into forward fold. Inhale, slow roll up the spine to stand, arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step, hop, or jump to chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot back and high. Exhale, knee to nose. Plant the foot between the hands. Rise up for your high lunge. Arms come out to a T and we twist over to the left hand side. Imagine the right ribs wrapping diagonally, trying to touch that left hip crease. Core is engaged. Feeling your torso being wrung out. Look forward, lean forward, plant the right hand, slowly lean the crown of the head forward until you can pick up the right toes. Two more breaths. Core is engaged. Inhale. Exhale to slowly bend into both of the knees, finding your way into half Lord of the Fishes. Right knee is to the inside of the left foot. Left sole of the foot is on the ground. We take the right arm, reach it up, and then across, either finding the knee into the crook of the elbow or the tricep to the outer thigh. Finding the twist first for five breaths. And that optional arm balance, I'm going to hit the wall, I think, if I do it here. Optional arm balance, leaning forward until both palms are planted on the ground, bending into both elbows, sending the left hip onto the left arm, I think, keeping the twist of the legs. One more breath. If you're up, Slowly begin to make your way down. Find the twist. Everybody looks forward. Frames the front foot. Steps forward into forward fold. Inhale, slow roll to Tadasana, arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, find your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look forward and step hop or jump so the feet are between the hands. Forward fold. Inhale, slow roll up the spine. We come to our decompression. When we're here, taken from Tai Chi, as our hands move up, we're gonna think about lengthening the spine up towards the ceiling. Palms are facing down first, starting at our pelvis. We lift the palm, uh, hands up, imagining our spine is lengthening, imagining our belly is lengthening, our chest lifting higher, then we come to our shoulders and our head when we pass our head, the palms flip up and we push further into the ceiling, 
See if we can get any more height in the spine. Keeping the palms flexed, we lower the arms all the way down. Fingertips come to touch again. Inhale to slowly bring the arms and hands up. And every time you pass over a body part, just imagine it expanding upwards, moving with your hand. Feeling the flow of energy. And when you make it past your head, palms flip up and you push your hands and arms straight towards the ceiling. Finding length on the inhale, exhale, lowering the hands down. Two more times, fingertips come to touch. Last time, imagining your spine lengthening. Exhale, the arms float down. Inhale, the arms come overhead. Palms come to touch or not. And as you inhale, you lift the arms up and lift your body up out of your torso. Gaze is neutral. And as you exhale, you keep this length, toning the core. Trying not to let the shoulders drop as you exhale. Inhale to lift the hands up higher. Notice how much your chest expands up when you inhale and try to keep that as you exhale. Three, inhale, reach up. Keep it as you exhale. Four. Five. Last time, reach up higher, neck is neutral. Exhale, slowly lower the arms down. Arms come up once again. Grab the left wrist with the right hand and we lean over to the right hand side. I'll be flipped from you, I think. Feeling this expansion down the left side body and feeling as if you're opening up the left ribs. Inhale to center and exhale to switch. Inhale to center, lower the arms, feet come hip width apart. Inhale first to find length. And exhale, bend the knees quite deeply so your torso can make contact with your thighs. And your whole upper body is just draped over the legs. Allowing your spine to be quite round. Bending your knees as much as you need to have this good connection between thigh and chest and belly. Then when you're here, you interlace the fingertips. You place them on your neck, so you want your pinky fingers to be at the base of your skull. And you just gently traction the head downward. Slowly release the fingertips to the ground. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, just make your way to a kneeling position. And then come into your bum. Feet shoot out in front of you. Hands plant on the ground just outside of your hips. Shoulders reach away from the ears. Pressing the hands into the ground, lifting the crown of the head up. Neck is neutral, gaze is neutral. Slight engagement of the core. 
Really try to imagine your spine lengthening as you compress into the ground with the hands, pushing the shoulders away from the ears, crown of the head reaching up, lengthening through the sides of the neck. Inhale, exhale, slowly release. Find a wide stance with the feet on the mat before you lean forward first. And then as you exhale, you slowly roll the spine down to a supine Shavasana position. Backs of the hands, find the floor. Allowing the eyes to close. And feeling any changes in the body. Maybe you feel a relaxation of the digestive system. Maybe you feel less anxious. Maybe a few less cramps. Allow the work of your practice to sink into the muscles as you relax. Not holding on to any tension in the hips or in the shoulders or in the neck. And if at any time your mind begins to wander, I invite you to bring it back to the breath. Maybe you also think about the energy moving around in your body, flowing from your feet all the way up to the crown of your head. Maybe noticing any noises around you, like the creaking of the floorboards, the hum of the furnace. Notice how the air feels on your skin. Notice the quality of the breath. And then wiggling your fingers and your toes, allowing the eyes to flutter open, reaching the hands behind the head, full good morning stretch, reaching the hands and feet away from each other, big inhale, and when you exhale, sigh it through the mouth. And release the stretch. One more time, inhale to stretch. Sigh it out and relax. Find your way into a seated position on the mat, cross-legged, hands gathered to heart center, crown of the head reaching up, tailbone reaching down. I hope you feel a little bit better if you came into practice not feeling good, and I hope this practice worked as well for you as it does for me, and I also hope you, hope you have a great day.